Okay, so this is my third video on the Ping Pod. Uh, first video was just unboxing it. Second video was looking at Android on it and just quickly seeing how snappy it was running on that. And for a, a small little device, it ran fairly well. Uh, now I just booted into the, uh, the Linux distribution that came with it on an SD card. Basically, I was in Android, I shut down the device, stuck in the bottom here uh, the micro SD card, and turned it back on, and it booted into Linux with an LXDE desktop. Now, um, probably I would say it probably took about 30 seconds to boot up, uh, but there was no s loading screen. It's like there was nothing on the screen until we got to the desktop. So I, at first I wasn't sure if it was starting up right. It was just a black screen. Um, but once we got uh, loaded up, you can see the desktop here. Um, we got a uh, LXDE terminal here, uh, a few different desktops. Let's see, uh, I'll click on the terminal here, start that up. So there's the terminal, um, close that out. I'll click here, start up the virtual keyboard, which is a nice full keyboard, but the buttons aren't that big. You can make it full screen, but then you can't see where you're typing. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna have to replace that with something or come up with something a little bit better than that for my regular everyday use. You also have uh, your file manager here that starts up pretty snappy. Um, I mean, if, if you're a Linux user, you're familiar with all this. Um, few things installed by default. Uh, I'll go to Office. They got Abbey Word. Uh, document viewer uh, and uh, a, uh, a G numeric I think is what it's called it's a, it's a lightweight spreadsheet so I clicked on all three of them and you can just see all three of them just load took a few seconds for them to get there but once they got there they started up there's our word uh, processor and uh, we'll close that we got our spreadsheet uh, uh, program here and document viewer for viewing PDFs um, we also have four icons on the desktop here for rotating uh, the screen. It doesn't have, um, uh, uh, you know, if I turn it this way, it's not going to automatically uh, rotate. I'm not even sure if there's gyros in this. I didn't really check that. Um, or I say gyros. Um, accelerometers in this. I didn't check that in, in Android. Um, if there are, we could probably script something out. I'm assuming, I'm betting these icons just run XRander, which controls uh, the, the screen output. Um, so I'll give you an example. It's, we'll do rotate uh, clockwise. You're not going to get a fancy animation. The screen's going to go black. It's going to come back, uh, rotate to the left or right, or whichever icon you clicked on. There's another icon right here for a rotate to normal view. It'll rotate back to the normal view. So works. Not as quick or snappy or fancy looking as as in something like Android. Um, Wi-Fi, I did get an email just yesterday, the uh, day before I got my PingPod, saying that they accidentally sent a bunch of units without the Wi-Fi drivers installed. They supply you with the file, you just copy over to a certain folder, load the module, you're good to go. I haven't done that yet since I just turned this on. Um, but you can see when I click on my Wi-Fi thing here, we get a little no, no networks uh, devices are available. So definitely we'll get that working. I'll probably do more videos on this in the future. Um, does have Chrome. Uh, I'll click on it even though um, I don't have a, uh, oops, looks like I clicked on it a few times there. Um, even though I don't have Wi-Fi set up, it opened up, and actually opened up pretty fast. Um, the uh, Chrome has its own little themes. The buttons are a little bit smaller. Not by much, so closing it's going to be a little fun. So, I personally, I recommend this device if you're a Linux user and want the power of Linux. Because Android's great if you're going to be surfing the internet. Definitely great for that, maybe watching videos. But to really do other tasks, you know, having a real version of Linux is great. Something with Xorg so you can load up all your, your standard GUIs. Uh, my other tablet, you know, like I said, I have Debian installed on that. Um, really, most of the time, if I need to use Debian, I churroot root into it because most of what I do is command line stuff. But it would be nice on here to have multiple terminals going. I, really, the only drawback I see right now is uh, is that keyboard. I need to definitely get a better virtual keyboard, on-screen keyboard. Um, volume controls here. I don't have anything, any media on here to play with. They don't have any camera thing installed. Uh, they don't have, like... Um, cheese or anything installed by default, so I haven't been able to test the camera uh, in Linux. Um, oh, and, and the version of Linux, let's see what the version of Linux is. Uh, we'll get the terminal open here. 
uh, and we'll minimize it for a second and get the keyboard running. Funny thing is out of everything, the keyboard seems to take the longest to load. I did click on it, right? Don't want to open up a bunch of them like I did with the Chrome. There we go. So we got our keyboard, terminal. We will type in here. Whoop. Get terminal up. Get, get the terminal up. I do think sometimes the mouse acts a little funny on this, it seems like. Um, yeah, video was going well until this. It seems to have walked up on me. Uh, well, that's good. We'll give it a test on a reboot so we can actually watch it boot here. I'll just hold down the power button until it turns off. I'm assuming that will work. So yeah, this is a real-life test of this uh, this device, uh, and uh, it's good for you to see glitches if you're thinking about buying this. But uh, so far, uh, I mean, I've only been playing with it for a few minutes here. Very happy with it. Um, but I want to show you when the device messes up. I'm not going to hide it from you. Once again, booting up, there is no loading screen, so I'm not really sure if it's booting right now or if it's uh, off. So <laughs> give me a second here. If it doesn't start up in a few seconds, I'll hold down the power button again. Okay, it is booting. Oh, there we go. This Now I'm getting a terminal screen. This is what I was not getting earlier. Only it seems to happen right at the very end. The mouse just started to load. So, yeah, the whole black screen thing can be uh, rather confusing because it's hard to tell whether the screens are not. You can kind of see if you put your hands like this that it's lit up slightly, but it's hard to tell. So I'd like to see a little bit of something letting me know what's going on when I'm booting in Linux. So far, I would say that and the virtual keyboard, the only complaints I have. Um, and uh, those are minor issues. Uh, so let's get the virtual keyboard up. There we go, virtual keyboard, and I will make it full screen, and I'm going to type in U name dash A, and hit enter, and hope that that typed into the terminal. It did. Okay. So uh, let's see if I can bring this up so you guys can see it, and there's my focus button here. There we go. You're not going to be able to read that anyway. Oh yeah, maybe you might be able to read that. It says the uh, version of Linux is Linaro, which I am unfamiliar with. It's obviously uh, compiled for ARM. Uh, but if we do uh, run, I closed my keyboard. Okay. Uh, so now I'll run apt dash get and hit enter and I'll minimize that and you can see apt-get is installed so it seems to be a Debian based distribution which I am a Debian fan not that that's the only option out there um, so so far once again there are a few little glitches here and there but that's you get that with every device um, one lock up there I'm not really sure what that was all about if that happens regularly that is an issue but besides the little lock up uh, the boot screen, it'd be nice to have a boot screen and um, a better keyboard. That would be my only two things uh, that I would change so far. Obviously the interface needs a little work to make it touch screen nice, but I plan on writing my own programs and scripts for this that make things a little bit easier. So I thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Have a great day.